Hi there, I'm Joel, and today I'm going to walk through and talk about two really exciting features that are available right now in NetData Cloud. Uh, first, we're going to talk about composite charts in the overview, and then we'll talk a little bit about metric correlations as well. So this is a pretty standard war room with a couple of nodes, uh, all running Ubuntu. Composite charts dash 01 is uh, running an Nginx web server. Um, and we can see here from some of the metrics that something is happening here, uh, but we'll come back to that in a minute. What I really want to show you is the overview. And to access that, we'll just click here in this drop down and click on overview. Now, at first glance, this does look like the local agent dashboard that you'll see on localhost for a specific node. Uh, but what you're actually seeing here is charts made up of aggregated metrics from the five nodes that I showed you before. Um, and, and that's really powerful because it's bringing all of the real time interactive per second granularity that you're used to seeing from single nodes and it's doing it for entire infrastructure. So this is a really great way to bootstrap your infrastructure monitoring and do it with essentially zero configuration. Because as I click around here and, and open up additional sections of charts, all of which are updating in real time from all of the relevant nodes, um, it's really important to emphasize that I didn't spend any time configuring this. Um, I didn't spend any time organizing the charts um, you know, writing uh, SQL queries, anything like that. This is out of the box immediately after I claim these notes in NetData Cloud. This is the kind of visualizations that you get. So we think that's really powerful and we're really excited to see what people do with it. Now I want to hop down to the applications section and the CPU chart in particular to demonstrate how composite charts work and, and give you a bit more information about how you can use them to troubleshoot issues. So right here um, in the top right corner of every composite chart, we have the definition bar. And as the name implies, this is basically the definition of the metrics that you're seeing down here. So let's go at, uh, go at it piece by piece. First, you have a dropdown that lets you choose the aggregate function that you want to use to render this composite chart. So by default, this one uses average. You can change this to sum. You can change it to minimum. You can change it to maximum. And this is a really powerful way to, you know, you could use average to understand your baseline performance. You could use maximum to find spikes uh, that, that are potentially problematic. Um, but regardless of how you look at it, you can see that there's something going on here with uh, HTTPD. Um, and again, we'll come back to this in a minute. I also want to show that you can select dimensions from this dropdown as well. So again, let's let's say we're really curious about diagnosing an issue. Um, so maybe we want to say HTTPD kernel and system because we're trying to figure out what part of our system is is uh, is you know causing so much CPU utilization. Well, this makes it very clear that it's uh, it's our web server. So next up, we have this uh, this five charts dropdown that shows you which charts and from which nodes uh, are, are contributing to this composite chart here. And finally, we have the X number of nodes, which again shows you the specific nodes that are contributing to this composite chart. And you can use these buttons here to uh, jump to the single node dashboard for that node in cloud. And we'll do that again in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so one thing that I want to show you before we get too much deeper into uh, metric correlation or anything like that is, is just to emphasize that composite charts work in the way that you expect if you're a net data user. So you can see I'm panning back in time here. Maybe I will hold shift and use the scroll wheel to zoom out a little bit. And you can see a, a massive spike in HTTPD uh, utilization here. Um, maybe I want to highlight this time frame and hop over to the network interfaces. And you can see here uh, an associated bandwidth spike as well. Um, you know, everything that you're used to seeing, it, it works with composite charts as well. So speaking of panning through time and zooming in and out, 
A new feature that we added to NetData Cloud is a time and date picker, which is available in the top right corner of any war room. Now you can open this up and quickly select from a number of common time frames that you'd like to look at. And this is a really powerful way to just quickly visualize how your infrastructure is behaving over the long term, over days, hours, months, whatever you whatever you'd like. And you can see here that we just approached the end here of the available metrics, and that's just because these nodes are relatively new. Um, this also depends on your metrics retention policy. Um, the longer that is set, uh, the longer you'll be able to go backwards in time. It's really cool to just you know pick sort of somewhat arbitrary things and immediately see the composite charts uh, refresh with those metrics. All right, so I had mentioned before that there was a way to drill down to single nodes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I already know that there is something going on with one of my nodes. And I do know in this case that it's these composite charts dash zero one node. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this link here. We're gonna open up this single node dashboard and we're gonna have all of the available metrics for us uh, to start diagnosing what exactly is going on. We saw a bit, uh, some CPU spikes, we saw high networking usage. Um, so we wanna figure out what's going on there. Now, in this case, I am running a synthetic load testing script to sort of stress test our uh, web server, but you might not know that going into it. In most cases, you wouldn't. So what I am looking at here is the network interfaces and, and the bandwidth. So this, this looks a little suspicious. Um, so maybe I'll zoom in a little bit to just get a closer look here. Um, and I, I'm, maybe I'm very curious about this very high spike here. I, I want to figure out what's going on here. Well, this is where metric correlations come in. You can enable it by clicking on the metric correlations button really close to the, uh, the drop down there. And you can select a certain time frame. I'm going to try to grab an appropriate amount of time here. Uh, you, to do that, you hold uh, the Alt key or the Command key if you're using Mac OS, and then click and drag a time frame. You can see here I've selected 42 seconds, and it's going to run it against a baseline. And then you just click Find Correlations and wait a couple of seconds for the magic to run in the background. Um, and while this is happening, uh, NetData Cloud is essentially pinging your NetData agent and gathering uh, metrics data from that baseline, doing some really cool analysis in the background. And then in the end, it essentially narrows down the interface. It hides irrelevant charts so that everything you're looking at is more or less directly connected to the sort of worrisome time frame that you had um, that you had selected and and searched for. So we can see here again, we're seeing big spikes in. Uh, eBPF usage, we're seeing rather big spikes in um, in networking as expected. And then we can see here again, we're seeing big spikes in active Nginx connections. Um, we're seeing big spikes in the request volume. Um, and if we look at the logs again, we can see um, many uh, successful requests. So, you know, I already knew what was going on with this node going into it. But if you didn't know, I think this is a good example of just how quickly you can get insights uh, into your uh, into the health and performance of your node using metric correlations. So we can go ahead and clear the results here, close this out. Maybe we will restore the time to the default and everything's back to normal. And then I'll just hop back over to the composite charts and we figured out our problem. In our case, it's nothing to worry about. In your case, if it was, you might go do some, you might log into that node and do some troubleshooting um, or, or change some settings or figure out exactly what's going on with that server. But um, all of these tools together are designed to help you um, understand what's going on with your systems, find the relevant node, go look at it in detail, use metric correlations to really focus your root cause analysis and, and solve the problem a lot faster. So thanks for watching and until next time, happy troubleshooting.